We welcome you to Behind Enemy Lines, presented by Microsoft Teams. I'm Mike Keith, joined by Amy Wells, and our special guest from The Athletic covers the Indianapolis Colts. It's Stephen Holder. Stephen, thanks for your time. Thanks for having me. Good to be here. Stephen, the Indianapolis Colts are coming off of an overtime victory against the Green Bay Packers. What was it about that game that stood out to you the most about the Colts? composure you know they faced a, a pretty early onslaught from Aaron Rodgers you know which is there's no shame in that right but I think to be down 14 at the half and from what players were telling me you know at halftime for there to be really no panic and just uh, just an understanding that they were still in the game and and knowing exactly what they needed to do I thought the second half adjustments on defense were were impeccable and the offense rejuvenating itself. That was the thing to me that I think can can carry over to remaining games. Steven Phillip Rivers probably played his best game of the season to date in Nashville against the Titans. And then he followed it up with another really good performance against the Packers. What has Phillip Rivers found and what has this offense found in the last two weeks? They went through a period where they didn't know what they were and what they wanted to be in my estimation. And I think now what you're seeing is they're figuring it out. This is the most efficient he's played really since 2018. He's in a groove right now. I think he's really playing within himself because at 38, that's different than it is at 28. And so I think that's where Phillip Rivers has done the best job, just learning to play within himself and knowing when to say when. The Colts defense has had a really strong season. They've been playing well all year. What do you attribute that to? Really, it's time on task. So this is the third year in this defensive system. It was a big departure from, from their former system. They didn't have all the appropriate pieces to play it. You have to draft players, clearly. And so they've been doing that now for three years. They have a very experienced young group. They have speed. And so you're seeing them play really fast on defense. It's because they're very comfortable in this scheme. On November the 12th, the Indianapolis Colts came to Nashville and it was a, a situation where they were an underdog. They were coming off a loss and you said, uh, you know, this is their season right here. Well, now coming into this second meeting, 17 days later, they're going to be the favorites in this ball game. They've won two very big games. How do you expect them to play differently, if at all, in the favorites role against the Titans? I don't think they'll play very differently. I think the one thing we know about the Colts is they will continue to be aggressive. I mean, what's the hallmark of that game two weeks ago? It was the fourth down tries by Frank Reich. I mean, some of them may be a little crazy. I don't know, but that's in the eye of the beholder. But you're going to see a team that's going to play to win. Steven Holder with The Athletic covering the Colts. Thank you for taking us behind enemy lines presented by Microsoft Teams.